Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Today we're going to be discussing a Blu-ray. Now I know if you're new to the channel, you're like, great, I want to talk about thinner on Blu-ray. But as many of you know, I don't typically discuss a lot of Blu-rays. It's not because I hate Blu-ray. I think it's just the format is just, we've all moved on. All the audio files, especially in horror, where we, we want the best that we can get. Now when it comes to some, you know, <laughs> distributors, we don't even think twice about it. Now when a Vinegar Syndrome movie comes out, I don't even think about the format. I'm like, cool. I'm getting Fatal Games on Blu-ray. That is amazing. Whereas some of these titles, I'm like, okay, just give it to me in 4K. I'm looking for the 4K. Why is it not 4K? You know, that's my fault. I think that's a lot of our faults. Now, I am not a snob, you know. I will watch a Blu-ray. You know, I have, I have no aversion to the format. I just, you know, if my options are Blu-ray or 4K, I want the 4K. I got a nice TV. I got nice surround sounds. I want to watch stuff that I love in the best possible quality. If the best possible quality is a Blu-ray, great. Then I'm taking that. I just don't think I personally discuss that a lot and I think some people may take away that I only like 4Ks. I mean, if you've seen my horror collection, you know, in that video, I'll link that up below so you can check that out. I have a ton of stuff all the way back to VHS. I watch VHS, so I'm not opposed to garbage quality. But I, I think sometimes I even look at Blu-rays when they come out and I'm like, yeah, I'll pass. I, I just think maybe I'll wait to it, especially with some of like the major labels where you're like, I'm going to buy this Blu-ray in six months from now, it's going to come out in Steelbook and 4K. But I know it's because I didn't buy the Blu-ray and there's a lot of questioning involved in there. And sometimes I don't want to buy stuff three times. I don't. And I know that's part of it, but I just don't want to do that. So let's get into this after discussing Blu-rays. We all like them. We all love them other than the packaging. I hate this packaging anyway. Well, I don't want to talk about the packaging here, but... There's the front, there's the back. Very simplistic case, obviously classic artwork. We've got our disc inside. This comes out, you know, your typical Blu-ray here. I hate these cases, that's what I was gonna say. You know what we're talking about this? I hate this recycled, cheap garbage that we get on Blu-rays, you know? It just annoys me. I like a good, solid case, which most 4Ks have, not all of them do. But I feel like Blu-ray was the worst because it was just like, hey, how cheaply can we make these cases? And they have not disappointed me with Scream Factory. You know, they love to <laughs> kind of cheap out sometimes. My disc was housed. I mean, I will tell you, with that Blu-ray case, it's not going anywhere. It's seated in that bad boy, unlike some of the 4K cases and they're like multi-layered flaps and stuff like that. Anyway, this is beside the point. We're ranting about Blu-ray cases. Let's talk about the Blu-ray. I do want to cover more of that format. That's what I'm getting at here. And this is I don't cover them enough, and I do want to cover more of them. I'd like to cover the Black Room for Vinegar Syndrome and Fatal Games, which we got last year, which have notoriously had terrible conversions and terrible VHS copies that are very hard to find. These have been restored, and I just kind of want to bring those to light as well as doing the standard stuff I do with 4Ks and maybe even pushing the balance and talking about some other 4Ks on this channel. I'm super excited for Conan the Barbarian, so I'm definitely doing that. But anyway, let's get into thinner. So this is a Stephen King adapted film directed by the great Tom Holland, who you most notably might know him as the Fright Night director and the Child's Play director. He's acted in a few things. He's great. He is a like, horror genre icon and all of that, and I really love Tom Holland. He's great, and I actually like this movie a lot. Some stuff is hit or miss as far as like especially some of the prosthetics and all of that and it's a bit cheesy but I like the dark nature and the macabre of this story. It's why, why I like old Stephen King. This very much has an old Stephen King vibe. It has that made for TV kind of look but on the video front, I think this looks really good. It is a 2K scan that already exists. That this has been scanned before, and they're using that very similar scan. I don't know that they've done any extra work to this, but it does look good, and it looks better than all the previous versions we've had before. And on the audio front, we have a DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 track, which sounds pretty solid. I think it sounds really good and mixed with a better visual like presentation that we've got here. The whole package is very good, and I think from the video front, I think it's a good solid solid four out of five. On the audio front, I would probably give it a similar thing. It's a four out of five. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. It's in that sweet spot where you're like, this is what I would want from this upgrade. I'm not looking for anything like miraculous, you know, coming down from the heavens to like, 
boop, this is amazing now. Like you get with some 4Ks that have been restored, but this is what I would want from this type of conversion. I want something that's better than the previous version and not garbage. Like, you know, I talked about Silver Bullet last year, where it's like that Blu-ray was just bad. They like color corrected it, it looked terrible. So in the 4K, they fixed a lot of that. Whereas coming from our older formats to this format, they did what I would want them to do for a Blu-ray version. And that is clean up the image, make it look good, and give me a nice audio soundscape. And that's what they've done here. So as far as that goes, I would recommend it if you like this movie. Let's talk about the movie though a little bit and some of these special features. So I'm gonna give you a kind of a little bit of these special features because there are a ton on here that are new, which is weird. Usually you get a 4K, you get one new commentary, and that's it. They're like, hey, we gave you a 4K. You don't get anything else. They're like, hey, we gave you a Blu-ray. We didn't have to do much work on scan, so we're gonna give you some new special features. But let's get into those. We've got a new audio commentary, producer Mitchell Gallen and actor Joe Mantinga. And then we've got a new audio commentary, film critic, historian Lee Gamblin and novelist Aaron Dries. We've got a new Weight of the World interview with director Tom Holland, which is very good. I highly recommend you watch that first. We've got a new Thick and Thing interview with actor Lucida Jenny. And then we've got new The Incredible Shrinking Man with special makeup effect artist Vincent Gustina. And then we've got our commentary with Tom Holland and Joe Matiga, and that's the older ones. But a ton of new special features, so which I didn't expect. I actually didn't really look into this release. I had pre-ordered it. I knew I wanted to talk about it on the channel, but I didn't really look into the special features. Sometimes I have so many of these on my calendar, and I'm like looking forward to so many that I'm like, I've got my like, number one picks that I'm like, ooh, I cannot wait for that. And you know, then it kind of fell down. Again, that's my fault as far as the Blu-rays go. But January was a very heavy month for me, like with Vinegar Syndrome, doing their subscriber stuff and picking out what I want. And there was so much there that I wanted to kind of look into and get. And they've got a new line of you know, Blu-rays and 4Ks that are coming out that I am super excited to talk about. I have pre-ordered both of those. We'll talk about those on the channel at some point. I kind of really like this movie. So what this movie kind of revolves around, I don't want to like spoil the whole thing, even though I really love the ending. It's pretty great. You know, there is this lawyer and he is, he hits a gypsy and basically gets cursed and is cursed to like gorge himself as he's getting thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner. He tries to shove stuff under the rug with this with his other buddies in law and it leads down a dark path. Now, this kind of leads to like all these macabre things happening, but he's getting thinner and thinner and thinner, which is a very interesting concept when you think about it. It's like the man cannot eat to satiate himself to stay alive. He does all these things. He raids them. He has his like buddy like, you know, person in FBI says, just so we can do this. And so the guy ends up kind of making this pie. I don't want to ruin this for you if you've never seen the movie. But anyway, get your piece of the pie and you can fix the world. And I think that's what our main character thinks here is that he's like, man, I just need a good piece of pie. And I think that'll solve my problems. Anyway, I really like this movie. It's a fun movie. Yes, is the like the practical effects a little wonky at this day and age. Yes, they kind of look, they don't look cheap by any means, but you can see them. You can definitely see the prosthetics on this man's face when he is large and then gets skinny. But I, I mean, I think this is an iconic cover, man. I love this, even though, like I said, the packaging's cheap and, and all of that. I, I think this is one of those that doesn't disappoint on the format that it's on, and I think more people should watch it. It's a solid, like, middle tier like Stephen King. There are really bad ones. Like, we're getting The Shining, like, you know, that um, Stephen King directed one, which is terrible, and that's coming out on Blu-ray, which is very interesting. That's very bad. But anyway, this is a solid release from them. It's a solid little movie. It's got a great ending. I, I really find the ending. It's that one where it's, like, super dark sad and then you're like oh this is gonna be good and it kind of leaves you not showing you it just it tells you but it doesn't necessarily show you what's gonna happen and I, I really like that so again bunch of special features here so that is awesome you know five out of five on the special features route you know sometimes like I said most of these are lacking but on here it's a solid job on special features. So, you know, commendable for that. There's a lot to dive into if you like this movie and kind of listen to those audio commentaries. Like, I highly recommend the one with Tom Holland. It's great. So, that's pretty much all I have to say about this. You know, it's a solid Blu ray release, man. I didn't, this was on my list to like cover and talk about and watch, but it wasn't one that I was like, oh man, I can't wait to pop in thinner. I just, it'd been so long since I'd seen it that I really wasn't sure what to expect but I had fun with it. You know, I'm glad to add it to the collection and I recommend you do too. If it's something you haven't seen, it's a reasonable price. I don't think it's gonna break the bank, you know? So I guess give it a chance. Let me know down below, what are you guys picking up this month? There's a lot coming. We've got a lot going. I know it's been a slow start to this year 
with videos. And it's mainly because I'm like, you know what? We're going to ramp this up. I know we don't have a lot going, but there's going to be some weeks where they're right. We're banging these things out three and four a week. But like the video, subscribe to the channel, become part of the collective here. We're rounding over a thousand, which is kind of crazy. Who would have thought that I would, uh, ever be there, you know, talking about the weird movies that I discuss on this channel, but hopefully we'll broaden some stuff up. You know, I still want to talk about the weird stuff, but we're going to start talking about some Blu-rays and maybe some other 4Ks. I don't know. I don't know. Would you guys want that? You know, I am definitely going to be talking about Conan the Barbarian on this channel from Arrow on 4K because from the screenshots I've seen, that shit looks amazing. So I'm super excited for that. So we might dabble in some other stuff. You know, I've got reviews coming uh, next month again in February. I'm going to be going back to uh, some of my roots and covering some of the old horror movies that I want to talk about and getting into some other Blu-rays and 4Ks, especially with the Vinegar Syndrome coming out later this month and into February. All right, that's all I've got. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to some videos for you at the end as always, and I'll talk to you guys in my next review.